In this Planet Zoo tutorial video, I am going to show you how to create glass domes. So here we are back in Planet Zoo and I've got another tutorial for you. We're going to jump straight into it. I'm going to show you how to create glass domes. I'm going to show you some different variants, but the main thing is this mud column. If you've not already favorited it, go ahead and favorite. Just type in mud and you will find it. Let me just turn my blueprints off. You'll see it's the first one, mud column zero one, one meter. This is gonna be our measuring tip and it's gonna be a guide of creating circular stuff, including domes. We're gonna start off quite big and we're gonna use the four meter glass wall panel. Now to do this, there's certain numbers we've got to remember. For four meter walls or glass panels in this case, we need to remember the number 15 and I'll show you why now. The mud column is on the grid piece. So we want to build everything on this grid. But what we want to do is go to the bottom right into this little grid menu here. And we want to lower the grid to one meter because we need to go out right 15 meters and then out left. 15 meters so 15 is a magic number when creating stuff with a four meter panel so we want to duplicate this mud column and we want to go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen and then left click to place and we want to do the same again on the other side once you've done 15 on each side we need to add our glass panel so let's just type in glass we'll type in glass b i think i already have it favorited there we go the panel which is four meter by four meter and we want to make sure that in the menu here there's certain settings on we want 15 degree angle snap on we want position snap on and we want position snap rotation on and now all you have to do is hover your mouse over this mud column mud, mud, uh, nah, gotta get my words out this mud column and it will go like this it will just snap to it and then press z on your keyboard once this will rotate it and then left click to place and then go over here you won't have to press z this time because it's already rotated i want to do again the same and left click to place next up is actually creating the dome so we want to duplicate an advanced move and we want to move this up Remember, make sure your angle snap is on. Very important in this part. And to move it up, just so it lines up with the one below, press X and then we just want to rotate it in 15 degrees like that. And then you want to place it by left clicking and you want to keep doing this 15 degrees until you get to the top of your dome. All the way around, up, line it up. Rotate it 15 degrees. Make sure you don't rotate it too much like I just did. You don't want 30 degrees with a four meter. You want 15. Just works the best. It's going to be quite a large dome. Up, rotate, place. This is our last one. And you know it's the last one because it's going to run parallel with the floor. It's going to be directly facing the floor and level like that. Line it up and place. And now what we're going to do, we're already in the group. So we're going to hold control and keep hold of control on your keyboard, right? And then you're gonna left click with your mouse. These panels, apart from the bottom panel, do not click on the bottom panel. We just wanna click all these. And then you can let go of control and it will stay highlighted, stay selected. And the top right here, you will see duplicate and advanced move, or you can press control and X, whichever's easiest for you. And just press on that. And then we wanna to toggle from relative world axis. So this button here, the third one in from the top, and then we're just going to move this over like this. We're going to press X because we need to rotate it, don't we? So it attaches to this. And we just want to rotate it until it's rotated all the way around facing the other side. And then bring it in. And then line it up with this glass panel here. You have to get on close to make sure it lines up good. There we go. And then left click. All lots left to do now is just rotate this around. So we want to delete these mud columns here. Keep the middle one. Always keep the middle one. And then we want to exit the group. So press exit on your keyboard. We're not in any group now. We've not got anything selected. And just left click to reselect the whole thing. And then again, duplicate an advanced move. Press X. And we just want to rotate it 15 degrees and place. And you will see it's not perfect to the bottom, but is lined up using the 15 by 15 meter um, method on each side of the column does line it up as close as it will get. And then you just want to keep rotating and keep placing like so. 
keep going until you get the perfect dome circular structure like that and then you want to go inside the dome and you want to delete all these mod, mod columns bit of a pain in the ass but they need to be gone the easiest way to do it is double left click and then right click so double left click enters a group and right click deletes what you have selected so I'll double left click right click double left click right click and you want to keep doing this until you, all these mud columns are gone and then zoom out and all the mud columns will be done and your glass dome remains we need to go on multi select bottom right here and then the middle one click or drag to add to selection and you just drag a box over this so it selects it all and then merge it all together merge scenery into groups click on that and now you have a dome and it's free to move wherever you want lower it down make it a smaller dome increase the size make it a bigger dome just like that what i like to do is lower it just to the ground level and if you do want to make this a habitat just create a doorway by going into the group and right clicking on two panels and the opposite two panels on the other side and this creates an entrance and an exit for the habitat right we've created a wide bigger dome i'm going to show you how to create a smaller dome with a different glass panel and then we're going to my favorite dome using the bubble glass pieces and we're going to use this as our measuring tape again remember go into it put your grid size to one and this time the numbers to remember are let me just look at this pen and paper i've got going here numbers to remember for a two meter glass panel is seven on each side so one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven now this gets a little bit more trickier and we have to do something a little bit different so bear with me here and keep with it right you've got seven on each side we now need obviously the glass panels i'm gonna go with the two meter wall panel this is gonna be a more kind of like to your dome as well again position snap rotation snap on left click place the other one we already know how to do that i've just gone through it now the problem is when we go into it and rotate it like we normally would just for reference images before i actually build the dome you will see these two meter panels overlap now if you're not bothered about it overlapping and you think that looks right and you can deal with it then fine it actually looks like two different kinds of glass i kind of like the way it looks but me i'm a bit of a perfectionist so we're going to change that and this is how you get it to line up perfect when working with two meter panels go back into this group go back on the mud column make sure it's on one meter again because for some reason it just automatically changes to four meter when you come out of the group doesn't mean anything. but yeah make sure it's on one meter and you want to duplicate it again and you want to go and just put these we'll put these back under but you want to go out one like that and place the mud column same with the other side, out one from the outer one and place it. And then these glass panels, you're going to put this glass panel dead center in between these two mud columns like that. And you're going to do the same again on the other side. So try to get it a center of those two mud columns, just like that. Then you're going to delete the columns you just put in, the outer ones. And then delete the other outer ones and this should be the right distance now so fingers crossed and let's duplicate it and advance and move again let's rotate it and as you can see it lines up almost perfect just like the other dome and all we have to do then is do the same again but this time i'm gonna go in 30 degrees like this to create a smaller more rounded dome And the last one, remember, it'll be parallel to the ground. Like that. And then hold control again. Select these panels. Duplicate the over. Exact same way as we did with the bigger dome. Line it up with this glass panel. Just like that. And now we're just going to rotate it. 50 degrees each time. Now, the top ones will always overlap. It's just something you've got to deal with. At least we've figured out a way how to get the bottom ones to not overlap or to leave a gap, which is even worse. So just keep rotating this round and placing. And we've got a smaller dome. And then, obviously, again, 
I'm going to go in and we're going to delete all these mud columns until there's none left. We're going to select these again by dragging the box over, merge scenery, and there you go. You've got a second, smaller glass dome. It's up to you what you do with a top, the top part. You can keep it as it is, but what I like to do, and I found out works quite well, is go into the shapes and go into the rounded shapes and then just have the circle. Turn your position snap off because it will just freak out like that and just lower that down. And that, for me, especially if you recolor it to black so it looks like metal, just concludes and finishes off the dome. Remember, the length of your glass panels does not matter. It's only the width that we have to remember those certain numbers. So big dome, 15 by 15 on each side. Smaller dome, like you've just seen me build there, it's 7 on 7 on each side. And then we do that little trick I've just showed you with the other extra mud column. That's a large dome and a smaller dome complete. Now it's time to build my favourite, which is the bubble dome. Harder to do, so you might have to concentrate on this part. It is more difficult to do, but it looks so much better. Right, for this one, believe it or not, we're not actually going to use the mud column. Yeah, that's right. Get rid of that. We don't need it. We're also not going to use the normal glass panels. We're going to type in bubble. That's right. We're going to type in bubble. You might have seen these PTs and they look like this. And we're going to create a dome out of them. First thing we're going to do is very similar how we did that last one. We're going to put one level straight like this. And then we're going to go up and go in 15 degrees on each one once again, lining these up the best we can. Again, until you reach the top, the one what runs parallel with the floor. And then place your last piece and now we're going to use the multi select tool and we're going to group that together let's just move it over to the left a little bit so we've got more space and then we're going to advance duplicate i'm going to do exactly the same we did with the other domes but without using the mud column we're just going to rotate it around like so and we're going to line this top up top one up with the other top one like that and then you're going to select all these merge them together and then once again, you're going to rotate, but we're going to do it a bit differently. Press X to rotate. We're going to go across one and we're going to go across two. So we're going to rotate it 30 degrees, not 15. And place. And then same again. And place. And just keep going. Make sure you're leaving those gaps like so. Like that. And now we're going to go back into construction menu and we're going to use this piece again. We're going to put position snap on and position snap rotation back on. And we're just going to let this snap to here like this. And it will kind of line up, but not line up at the same time. Turn your angle snap off. Time to turn your angle snap off. We need to be very precise. We need to press X and we need to just move this in like this so it lines up. move it around adjust it i told you this is much more difficult keep going i know it's very fiddly you've probably seen it now saying sakla i'm not doing that but honestly this is the best way to get it right forget there's tiny gaps in the middle forget about it from like this you can't even really see it can you from here so we're going to do it again I'm going to go up. Like that. Bring it in this time. Play about with the world axis. See what you can do. Very fiddly, I know. But stay with it. And I promise it will look good. Line it up the best you can. Like so. And then we're going to use a different piece now. So, we've got hexagons which we've just been using. But we now need a pentagon to cover this space. Line it up the best you can again, like that. That'll do. And then we've got this annoying space, so we're going to use the triangle this time.
Remember, don't worry about the gaps. It's not going to be perfect because it is very fiddly to do. But we can only do what we can do. It is what it is. You won't have to do this for everyone. I'm going to show you how to just duplicate it in a minute. There we go. That is going to have to do. You can then bring this one down if you want. Or the easiest way to do it is to bring it all down once you've done it. So make sure, sure this part, right, what you just built, is different and on a different group to all this. You don't want it all together like this. So if it is, just go into it and separate it by holding control and then split from group. And then you're going to duplicate this over exact same way as you've just duplicated the others over. We're going to turn it around. Make sure your angle snap is on because remember we did turn it off. Click on that, angle snap, turn it around. And then move it in. So it lines up with this side. Lining it up the best you can. That should do. Then you're going to group these two together. So they separate. Merge them together. And then just rotate them again. To fill those gaps. Like so. And now we can put everything together, merge it all together, and then lower it down. And there we go. We've got a dome made out of the bubble pieces. And the exact same again, just delete pieces as you please. You can have a small entrance like that, or you can go a bigger entrance like that. I like this one the best because this could probably actually go in a habitat. Again, you can lower it down, you can have it smaller. This could be a... Um, inside of a habitat as a hard shelter for a smaller animal couldn't it and it looks modern and it looks good and there you go that is the basis of how to create class domes in planet zoo if this video did help you and you did learn something then hit that like button and if you are new to the channel i make tutorials like this i also make all kinds of planet zoo related content go and check out my other videos and you know subscribe if you are new my name's adam i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and i will catch you in the next planet zoo video